All right. New one with limited revives. Let's get it going. The Shipbreaker. <sighs> You've been accepted. Join links. I like Station 42. And Morgan, who's... I swear that's a... Goddess of Death in, like, uh... The Gaelic tradition. <laughs> it can be revoked at any time. No. Insubordination. Oh, I used that before, so we'll add a 30. And to only eat insects? That's interesting. I didn't think too hard about that last time I saw it. Let's go with that. I don't think it has any gameplay effect. Not a criminal. Not a yeah union. No union thing. For the nation state of Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> I will vote for this guy. I love the debris fields. May come true in our, our lifetime. video though <laughs> it's going in the wrong one no don't throw it into the forge Alright, joining the Evil Corporation.
pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation Salvage Division. When my great great well, they do a pretty good job of copying corporate speak. He foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail gates. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity to be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard, heed your superiors, believe in the Lynx vision. Do this, and you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our Ever Work program. The Ritual Suicide, starting! Turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Good luck. Your first body is not free. <laughs> Listen to the screaming. The process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. Beginning extraction now. Oh, so you die. It is now safe to die <laughs> with <laughs> with an asterisk. <laughs> and uh, billion dollar debt and change. <laughs> and a fee display report cost. Debt is a sign of being prepared. <laughs> oh, that's rich. All right, all right. Breathe, breathe. You're okay. Everything's going to be just fine. There you go. Plenty of folks feel a bit woozy with the first spare. Anyway, welcome aboard. The name's Weaver. I'm the foreman for yourself and a couple of other shipbreakers in this region. This here's Morgan Station. She may not look like much right now, but once we boot her up, she'll purr like a kid. All right, let's test out your orientation control. Do me a favor and... All right, let's down. learn to float. Alright, let's flush thrust around. Forward. Left. Right. Back. Up. Down. Go into the box. Let's go in a box. 
I've been a bad boy. I, or, myself, you know? I guess I think I'm playing a chick character, so I'm a bad girl. Oh, I know how to break. I already did. <laughs> you get some bonus stickers if you go in there. Zap it. Let's go. Throw it in the hole. It made it. Slice and dice, let's go. Cutter. Now try changing the angle of the cut. We're in business. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm gonna turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work there is left to do. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first goal marker. And that's what it's all about, Cutter. The more salvage goals you complete, the closer you get to hitting your certifications and ranking up. Raw material is Ooh, it's melting! It's Let's melting! Let's head on over to your hab and I'll show you the ropes there. 
Fly on over back to the master, Jack. I'll put a marker on it so you can find it easy. I like looking at some of the rail gates. Head on in. Those look kind of neat. Let's see. Yeah, there's another salvage one, too. I think that's another salvage one. There's a whole bunch of them. Can I see a ship in there? Is that one? I can't say for sure. Alright. Opening done. Level two! Level two! Okay, that's not... You automatically make level two after the first bit. <laughs> Please do not lick the salvage bay. Uh. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. That's everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. Sleep tight there, Cutter. All right. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Ooh, we got some Have email. Nominal. Have a good day. Rise and shine, Cutter. Hope you feel well rested. Ready to continue your training? Okay. Let's have a look at your employee terminal. Now, let's get caught up on career progression and certification. Read the email. Message with an explanation. Go on and give it a read. Read my messages. Clear certification. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process. One to Soon thirty. Enough, I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Most of them are willing to help you out too. All right, let's start a new ship and pick your first ship to work on. Let's read some of these other ones. Structure mode. This is the scanner. All right. This is about being. A debt wage slave to them. <laughs> salvage goals. So if I hit the little bars on the salvage thing, I get bonuses. Links tokens. And I can do the macro station hopper and macro light cargo type ships. <laughs> Recent safety reports are wrong. <laughs> and this is Everwork. Yep. I get cloned, but I'm playing with only 30 clones. Step up from the unlimited clone model. Or mode that I played before. Death is a fresh start. Only a small chance of messed up. And the only guy you've talked to so far tells you he's been messed up by this. <laughs> Alright, and this is the certification tab. Shows you how far you have to go and what you can get. You get nothing new other than titles after 20, but you get a lot of stuff each time. So we're going for two. Or no, we started at one, we're at two. So we get some ships. We get another ship. 
Okay, oh, and we get tethers. Yep, after a few more. And now, yeah, there we go. We start getting a whole bunch of tools. Look at those. We'll look at those more later. Let's say enter the ship catalog. Oh, I think, oh, I have to go to starting my shift. This screen shows which ships you have access to. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got or start a fresh one. Go ahead and claim one, and we'll get to work. 2.4, 2.4, 2 2.4, 2.4. Interesting. Weighs more, but the exact same value. Or weighs less, the exact same value. Eh. Take this as salvage. My first ship! With my new game reach rank three okay your primary goal is to reach rank three now try to remember nanocarbon goes in the processor aluminum goes in the furnace try to salvage the entire ship if you can we call it using the whole buffalo the whole buffalo yes that way and start knocking out that dead of yours i'll be observing and giving you any help if you need it good luck cutter I like how they made it lighter than before, though. And more valuable. Material accepted. Yeah. Credits transferred. Someone stole all the good stuff inside. Oh, she's a... <laughs> oh, I don't have a time yet. We'll get to that. But not for a little while. Oh yeah, it's real. Oh, <laughs> I'm pushing myself. There we go. You get used to the range bonuses. Uh, aim a little bit better. Charge push is way is very helpful too, but a little while before we get it. Oh, not close enough. Bye. 
bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things looked exactly like my stepbrother Jed. He even had the same slack-jawed expression. <laughs> now, Jed and I weren't exactly pals or nothing, but all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Lynx. I'll tell you what, it's a side better to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. <laughs> I won't be able to touch those for a little while. so much faster though. Whew. Forgot the first little bit was a little slow because you gotta hand throw everything. But I mean Whoa Eh, gotta be careful not to be <laughs> unselected when I push. You push yourself all over the place. Yeah, but I guess it makes sense to start without tethers because then you learn a little bit how to maneuver. You'll need, you'll definitely need tethers, but there's times when you can't use them or it's better not to, so. Mostly intuitive. Look where you want it to, or point the cursor where you want it to go, and it starts going that direction. Oh, 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 that's still attached. <laughs> Shot some a little bit of um, trying to do it a little fast. But aluminum is super cheap, so it's hardly worth the effort. Sliver, and I know I could cut nanofiber. But... A thruster in there? No, not yet. All the thruster cap is, but. Should make it. Oh, that's one of those items. Oh, I got a split side of this baby. Let's go this way. And do half and half.
that one should probably get me to number five. Oh, and it did. But I'll throw this one in anyways. going in. Let's go rank up. I think I'll get a new ship type. And then I have to do it one more time. Nice if I can speed up my thrusters a little bit too, but Oh, I almost got all of it. Look at that. Just a little glass, a little aluminum stuff. Not too much done up. Rank three. Let's go. License level let's see. I get a few links tokens. I might be able to buy an up. No, I need one more rank before I can buy an upgrade. Good morning, ship breaker. Good morning, ship breaker. Links mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. Well, I get a sticker. And here's my debt payoff. Looking good, Cutter. Now go ahead and pick another ship. Oh, not yet. I'll start showing that soon. I got right. Snow has level one. Ooh, that's a big, big jump. Uh, let's see if I can one one cycle this one. All right, hold up a second there, Cutter. Because you've increased your rank, we're going to give you the next grade of ship. Now this one will be full of machinery, electronics, furniture, all stuff that Lynx can collect and resell. You're going to want to throw those items on the barge. That's uh. Get the lights. Nice work. Got that pretty quickly. Now, let me teach you about the kiosk. Once the training wheels come off, Link's regulations mean you gotta cover your own oxygen and fuel costs. That's the way things go. Turning it on now. Now, no need to panic. They'll last you a good while. But if you end up running out, you gotta top up at the kiosk over there. Uh, well, let's go to the kiosk anyways. Push it along. No, screw it. Let's hack whilst this thing up.
Finish this. Oh, let's get that down. single this one since the time is waiting for me at the moment. That's good. I'll finish a good chunk of it. Not close enough. Processing object. Applying credits to account. I like the actual value decisions you have to make on there.
now we can cut these up. Then they fall apart. Music is better than I expected. It's just it's got a good vibe to cut ships up to. <laughs> Processing 
No, none of them had that. Oh, repair pick kit though. I'm gasping. I can't move it. Uh, I have to pull off the thruster cap. I get to it under 3,000. Oh, game design is a thing. Holy crap. Actually, this is one of the, the better designed games I've come across. that but I get it anyways. Yeah, I like that they've made some pretty good design design decisions on this game about need to do certain things to make a move. Later levels it's less important, but but you get the multiple panels of different stuff, you gotta cut that. That was worth the effort, 30,000. Real physics, you keep floating. That's not perfect, this. <laughs> the things you throw around don't keep going quite as well, but... Then everything just float away forever, and... Level 4! Level 4! Inspirational messaging, yes. Following inspirational message. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. Alright, oh and now I can do exolabs. 
<laughs> Actually, those electrocutions are still being investigated. They're not frequent. Or deadly. I have never electrocuted myself playing this game. Inside the game. I've never electrocuted myself for real while playing this game. That would be quite ir ironic. You are now qualified to handle electrical hazards. We don't check. You gotta do it yourself. Oh. Thought I already had that, but... <laughs> it is positively adequate for the transport needs. <laughs> Has, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just catching up on some of those. Oh, there's fire hazards. Okay, yeah, we had a fuel tank. I should have shown this before, but I guess I had enabled that. Eh. Something they could fix, maybe. Oh, and here we go. The bill. Interest. Whew. Backup, Bailey's, transport, have rent. Yeah, you can't really get rid of those, but rental, 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 rental. You can get rid of those after a while. Safety third. Hey, Cutter. I'm looking at the stats coming from your bay, and it's looking like you're really going to make your way around here. It's time to learn about how to upgrade your equipment. All right. Some of the more advanced tools you'll soon have at your disposal. Head on over to your workbench in the equipment room, and we'll see about upgrading your tools. Let's check out my tools. I'm going to read this straight from the manual. <clears throat> Lynx rewards hard work and learning by giving shipbreakers access to tool improvements and new equipment. Reaching salvage goals is essential for becoming a master shipbreaker. Basically, they want to make sure you prove yourself first before giving you the big guns. Completing salvage goals will net you shiny Lynx tokens. Use those tokens here to get yourself some new gear. So let's get going and learn about one of the most important tools in a shipbreaker's toolbox. Tethers. Go ahead and purchase them. Repeat after me, Cutter. Tethers are your friends. <laughs> now, yep. have a quick read and let's hop back in the bay. Yeah, you'll see me using them here soon. But, I uh, can't open anything up yet. Nope, gotta make level 5. Except for tethers. Uh, helmet? Nope. Work suit? Nope. Definitely not demos. Okay. Let's put some stickers on, though. I got no stickers. Oh, wait. I wanna do stickers. Let me do the stickers. Now I want to cut in two with the safety third. Safety third. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut out here a little bit. This is probably the last one. Let me tell you how to use these things. Tethers are more powerful than the beam in your grapple. They're great for moving super heavy salvage. Try it out. Press and hold the secondary input for the grapple to begin placement. Point where you want the salvage to move to, then release the input to create the tether. No, I, I don't think I got it on the on the actual box. Great. Now, what if you want to get rid of the tethers you've already placed? There's a cancel command you can send, but take note that it clears all of your tethers. Go ahead and try it now. Oh, 
Let those finish. I'm not getting on that guy. How am I not getting on that guy? So missing tether cubes. quite make it. Just slap those guys there. Play some more. Probably tonight. <laughs> Going in the hole. Alright, well that's a good time to <coughs> call it a day for now. Damn thing about going to work. Well, I will see everyone else later.